Ansley and Sydney Guy are not only fraternal twins, they are also partners and the best of friends. At 15 years old, they have already created an impressive set of life footprints and continue to celebrate many accomplishments. Both are honor students in the award-winning, highly diverse Dutchtown High School of Excellence, which boasts an outstanding student body from over 30 nations. As soon as Ansley and Sydney were able to speak and make sentences, they made it perfect perfectly clear that each of them had their own separate identity, which included displaying different tastes, preferences, and gifts. As toddlers, they chose not to dress alike, but to emerge as two little girls with individual expression. As a result, their journey remains separate, yet they coexist together warmly in protective sisterly love. Ansley, who happens to be the oldest by a couple of minutes, is an honors student and a visual and performing artist. She has won artistic competitions and has been honored for her exceptional drawing ability. She has been honored at the county level for her design efforts. Also, Ansley was selected to direct her school choir in the Georgia Governor's Mansion. She is highly athletic and has amazed her parents and coaches with exceptional track and basketball agility. She has a collection of trophies and commendations as tangible proof. Ansley, also a singer keyboardist with her own recording studio, finding great joy in leading praise and worship at Impact Church, the Atlanta mega church where her family worships. She spends a great deal of time creating cover videos of her favorite artist songs. Sydney, also an honor student, is a born leader. She received honor from President Barack Obama as one of the leading academic scholars in the United States during his presidency. She's quite the chef and enjoys creating tasty recipes and delicacies. She is a leader on the Dutchtown Cheer Squad. Her voice can be heard above hundreds of others as she stands on the sidelines and cheers louder than anyone in the crowd as her sister runs track. Quite the social butterfly, Sydney meets no strangers and can hold her own in intriguing conversation. Along with their older sister Peyton, Ansley and Sydney both enjoy travel and have reaped the benefits of their parents investing the time and resources to take them across the United States and abroad to countless museums, historic sites, live performances, and other educational experiences. They've enjoyed both airplane rides and ocean cruises, exploring the world and humbly thanking God for extraordinary exposure. For several years, they were encouraged to develop independence in Christian summer camp in the North Georgia mountains. It was here, while on a hiking adventure, that they came face to face with a Georgia black bear. It was also at this time that both girls proved to the world they could both run and scream with Olympic speed. Common in black culture, the guy girls played church as little girls. They had church fans, little hats. One would be the preacher. They created praise dances and they raised offerings. Even in their little make-believe church, some things were always real and spilled into their growing life. They found ways to give the offering to those in need. A few things were apparent in their worship. God was to be praised, his word was important, and they really believed. Given all of this, their little church wasn't so fake after all. By the time they entered school, they dropped the word fake as they described this childhood experience and just continued to serve God and love his people. They've worked to serve the homeless and have tried to be ambassadors wherever they go. They serve faithful at Impact Church and continue to grow in the Lord. They've won favor because of a household family rule to display excellent manners and love and respect for others. Today, we welcome them, Ansley the singer, psalmist, and Sydney who will bring the message of the day. God's blessings to both of them.